Well, it's that day. It is. It is cruise day. Yes, it is. Uh, hold on. It appears we're already in a cruise cabin. This is the second leg of our 22-day Mediterranean adventure. Right. We are on the Enchanted Princess. So for this cruise, 11 days, we're going to be inside this interior cabin. We are. Interior stateroom. We've already been in it for 11, so I think we can make it through 11 more. Mm -hmm. We are located on deck 8, the Empress deck, just right above, literally above the piazza. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that we are starting 11 letters. Yes. For Journey to the Secret Word. So you're going to take all 11 letters that you're going to find in the next 11 vlogs and make three words out of them. And then uh, go to cruisingcanucks.ca slash secret and you'll find out how to submit the information. You have to submit the three words and the location of every letter. Mm -hmm. And with that, you can win a prize from level eight luggage. Yes. So we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. We are in Civitavecchia right now. We are. So we've arrived here after 11 days of sailing. We'll start another 11 days. Later today we'll leave port. Right. But for an embarkation day, we're going to do something different. Mm -hmm. We're going to debark. We are. <laughs> we're, we're in transit for the day. Yes. We are going to get off the Enchanted Princess. We are going to the train station. And we are going to Rome. We are going to attempt all of that. <laughs> yeah. We're going to give that a try and see if we can get off. Go to Rome, get back, and sail away for the first day. Not miss the cruise ship. That's the plan, is to get back before the ship leaves. So, mm -hmm. let's go. Let's do it. Get this cruise started. Let's go. Here we go. Let's start this embarkation day by getting off the ship. <laughs> Hi, we're Jill and Jerry here on the beautiful Enchanted Princess. And this episode contains a hidden letter that is part of our journey to the secret word. Thank you to Level 8 for sponsoring this contest. And use those letters to try to form three words that relate to this cruise. Good morning. Good morning. Is there a different line for it for just in transit? Not raining yet, but there is rain in the forecast. Yeah. Well, did you have a good cruise? <laughs> This is the happiest disembarkation bridge I've ever done because I know I get to come back up on it later today. <laughs> Ooh, aircraft carrier. Italy's only aircraft carrier in the fleet right behind us today. We are docked right in front of the Celebrity Apex today. Exit this way. There's our shuttle bus to the train station. Okay, we're here at the train station at Chivitavecchia, and we are waiting for our train to go to Rome. We're here on the train? We are. And how much your train ticket cost? They were, it was 9 euros and 20 cents for the two of us, one way. Well, that's a pretty good deal. Under $5 each to get to Rome. And the train ride, I believe, was just about an hour? Yes, 50-something minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're moving, by the we're way. We're moving. We're going to sit back, relax for the hour, enjoy the scenery. Yes. And we will see you in Rome. Rome. Okay. We're off the train. There goes the train we just rode. It's actually early. Oh. We are here at 9.30. And we've just found out that the Pope holds his audience today, <sighs> right Wednesday. now. So we're, Vatican might be crazy, we're going to go check it out and then go from there. Right. Here you are in Rome again. We are. Perfect temperature for us today for walking yeah, it's much too. Cooler a little than bit cooler than when we were here last 40 time. 40 degrees last time we were here. It's half that today. Not sure if you can hear that or not, but as we get closer to St. Peter's Basilica, the bells of St. Peter's are ringing. They are. Ringing as the Pope is showing up for his Wednesday audience. Which is usually before noon or always before noon. And well, you have to get tickets ahead of time for that. Yeah. And the tickets are free, but you need to register for them. So we don't have that done. And we didn't anticipate to even be here early enough to have an opportunity to do this. Right. Although we got here so early, we might have had a chance. But, yeah. but as a result, we're thinking the Vatican Museum might be a little quieter than normal. <laughs> Only because oh. everybody will be in with the Pope. Pope as the audience. Yeah. The only thing is it means we might not get to St. Peter's today. Yeah. A little disappointing. So, we'll continue our walk through Rome along the edge of, I believe, that's the Vatican right there beside us. Yeah. I, I do believe. 
So, soon we'll be there. Check out where we are right now. So we thought that we needed tickets to come in here, and I just asked the guard, and he said, no, no tickets. And we just went through security. They checked our bags, went through x-ray machines like you would at an airport, and here we are, guys. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can actually get in to see the Pope speak today or not. We did not plan to see the Pope today, but if it can happen, I think that's something to put on the bucket list. <laughs> St. Peter's Basilica. We hear that, I believe the Pope is speaking at 10.30. We are entering St. Peter's Basilica right now. Hey, my goodness. Unbelievable. What do you think when you see all this? Pretty uh, magnificent, isn't it? Okay. Work. It's artwork. We noticed that there are people here from different countries. They brought their own flags, I think, to have with them. Yes. When the Pope speaks. It looks like there is a service going on right now, so see if we can get closer and see what's going on. Here we are in St. Peter's Basilica. We are, so a mass just finished and they roped off the area and I spoke to an official and they said another one will be about to start and they'll be opening it up for people to sit down and take part in mass and that the Pope will be giving his address at noon outside. Yeah, right on the steps I believe here of St. Peter's Basilica. Mm -hmm. So yeah, quite the place. Second time seeing it, just some impressive the second time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're going to keep exploring and then head out into St. Peter's Square. Yes. Not sure we're going to be here in the Pope's here. We might be out exploring the rest of Rome. Kind of seems like one of those things that if you have the chance to, you should. Right. But we have a cruise ship to get back to and other things to see, so I'm not sure how we're going to work this. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you're going to see as we can. <laughs> we'll live through it step by step here. Okay, so this is a spot right behind us where the Pope is going to be speaking at noon today. Yes. Sorry, busy just looking at everything around here. All the sculptures, all the architect. Mm -hmm. I think we are going to go off and explore Rome. We are. The weather is supposed to close in later, so we uh, want to make sure we get around and see a few things in the city before it's time to get back on the train to get back to our ship on time. Off we go. Goodbye, St. Peter's. Hopefully again, we'll be back. So 
So today is an example of how we travel. <laughs> we pretty well try to put ourselves in a spot where they know that there is stuff for us to see and to do. Do a little bit of research on how to get to certain places, but a lot of times things change on the fly yeah. and you have to figure it out. Today was one of those days that we would have researched today, we would have probably not even come to the Vatican. Right. But we came along, we saw some crowds of people going in, we thought that's the way to St. Peter's. I didn't think we're supposed to get there today. But sure enough, then we could actually get closer to uh, St. Peter's. And then we found out, okay, maybe we can get close, but can't get inside. Sure enough, we tried to get a little closer and sure enough, we could get inside. So even, right. even though the information online today suggested we wouldn't be able to get in there. So, yeah. so sometimes you just have to put yourself in the right spot, the right time, go with it. And that's when some of the adventures are the most exciting, interesting and unexpected. For sure. Maybe we'll get to Trevi Fountain and there'll be nobody there. The next <laughs> unexpected things. Has that ever happened? <laughs> You just saw a Trevi Fountain? Come in November, they said. It won't be busy. <laughs> Ooh, it's crazy. I think it was busier now than it was when we were here in... August. August of last year, for yeah, sure. For sure. Wow. Okay. Now we're going to go somewhere that we haven't been before, at least together. Mrs. Kanaka has been here, so we're going to see if we can find the Spanish Steps. Huh. And hopefully a little less crowded. <laughs> hopefully. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. Oh. That was crazy. We go this way. What do you think, guys? Think I can handle one of these? <laughs> Size of those. <laughs> we are here. This is the Spanish Steps. If you can imagine them with all the people out of the way. Oh, I have a selfie demand over here. Smile for the selfies. Oh, I'm trying to get it all in and ask. There we go. Just Again. To give you an idea of the people. Take a look at that street right there. Come in November, the tourists will be gone. No tourists here at all. We got the place to ourselves today. <laughs> Bruno's wow. barking. Wowie wowie. Time to get out of here. We are at Bar Via Milla. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> we found a little bar cafe restaurant on our way back to the train station, so we're stopping to have some drinks and some lunch and just enjoying the atmosphere here. Okay, lunch has arrived already, or parts of it. And what are you having? I'm having the porchetta sandwich. Oh yeah? What's it look like on the inside? Some pork, some toasted bread, yeah. I'm having some margarita pizza. You can see it's folded over. Mmm, here we go. And we ordered a little bit of bruschetta. How does that look? It's like sliced tomatoes on toast. I almost feel like I need some bacon. <laughs> a little bit of lettuce. So, how was your little stop in Rome today? It was nice. It was nice to just get back and, and visit Rome, but oh my gosh, we thought for sure there'd be, it'd be less busy than what it was when we were here last year in August, but definitely was not the case. Everything was just as busy, if not busier at spots we were but it's nice to walk along the street and take it all in. Mm -mm. And after all that walking, a little peroni, a little Italian beer. We are done our lunch and it's time to find the train station. So we'll see you at the trains. This way, I think. We have made it to the train stations. We are here at Roma Termini, which is the main station downtown Rome. And there are a ton of lines that are coming in out of here. 30 different tracks, I believe. Bigger and busier than most train... Airports. Airport, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, <laughs> that we've been to in North America. They actually have a lounge, a premium lounge for um, certain customers with a certain train line here. It's uh, quite a large station. There's shopping, all kinds of boutiques and makeup places and cafes, full on mall inside of this train station. Okay, we're gonna go wait for our train. 
We are back on the train. We just got on the train. We looked out the window and the rain started coming. Made it just in time. Good timing on Mr. Knuth's part. It's a good thing having meteorologists with you sometimes helps. He told me we need to get on the train at around this time, otherwise we're going to be stuck in the rain. And he was very right. <laughs> We're off the train and heading for the shuttle buses. There's usually different shuttle buses for different parts of the port, so you need to make sure that you get the one going to your ship. Yes, how the what ship you're going on. We are back to the ship. The rain held off just long enough. Oh, we have to go around? Yeah. <laughs> Getting waved around. Entrada. Entrada? This Entrada. That's the one. In transit, yes, that's us. Empty looking terminal. I guess everybody else is already on that's got on today. Look at all the water. Hopefully, somewhere down there they got a skid full of meatloaf. Skid full of meatloaf? <laughs> Here we go. It's kind of like embarkation, but not really. <laughs> Welcome aboard. It's always exciting coming aboard a ship for a new vlog. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Wonder what the piazza looks like. There you go. Everybody getting on. Oh, there's David. We don't have to wait for our luggage to start this leg of the voyage. Oh, we have a couple beside us. We have neighbors now. If you have not done so already, please make sure to watch the safety video on your television or personal device and visit your assigned master station. So that was just the captain. And they just did the muster drill for those that are on brand new. So we're going to have to get ready for dinner and see what's going on around the ship. Well, good afternoon, good early evening. We are refreshed. We are after a lot of steps in Rome. Yeah, almost 20,000 steps in Rome for our embarkation day. Mm -hmm. Kind of embarkation day. Yes. It was a real easy one. <laughs> we saw everyone else embarking. Yeah, we became tour guides at the train station, kind of make sure people were getting off the right spot. Because a lot of people were doing what we did last summer. Yeah. Trying to figure out how to get from Rome to Civitavecchia and then to the ship. Yeah, so we helped a few couples that were there with all their luggage coming on our cruise and a couple other cruises parked next to us. Tell them where they need to get off and where, how to get the shuttle there from the train station to our ship. And so what's different on this 11 day than the last 11 day is that Princess has gifted us some of the premium perks to be able to show all of you. Yes. So uh, if you saw the last vlog, you saw a little bit of confusion about there about some of our billing and stuff. And we figured out what was going on. So um, we have prepaid the tips. So that's usually part of the premium package, but we already paid for that out of our own pocket. Yes. But Princess is giving us access. We're going to be able to do some specialty dining as per the premier package, mm -hmm. as well as some of the other eating venues where we can visit. Right. And we're going to have access to different drinks to be able to show you. Right. Also, I believe there's photos that we're going to be able to have access to. Mm. And uh, we've already got a day in the spa booked. Which that's I, not part of that. That's not part of the premier. There's no. also fancy looking desserts. Oh yeah, that's right. Yes, and there could be exercise classes for someone to maybe try. Uh, no, yeah, for him to try. Because <laughs> lucky for me, I didn't know that this was going to happen, so I didn't pack any workout yeah. outfits. When I heard this perk was coming possibly for me, I threw my workout stuff overboard. <laughs> so. You're going to have to go do it. The people want to see you working out. So I can't do it in a dress. So yeah, so thank you, Princess, for allowing us the opportunity to see that and do that. Yes. I mean, we we're hearing an announcement from the captain come through. Oh, it's in Just the hallway. Out in the hallway. <laughs> it's in the hallway. So, we are going to get this cruise started. We are. First of 11 days. We're so excited. Don't forget to look for that secret letter. You might have saw it, or maybe not. So, it could be still coming up. Check it out. And we're going to start the first night on the cruise and 
It's kind of strange. It's embarkation day, the first night for some people, literally, but it's kind of the first day of the second half of our cruise. So, right. And the first day of this vlog. So, let's go and uh, do our second embarkation day. Let's do it. Time to find a pre dinner cocktail. And tonight's dress, I'm not sure you can see it. It's running away from me. Looks like it's black with some kind of squiggly white pattern all over it. And it has straps, no shoulders. Length is about three quarter length. Black pointy witch like shoes. And some kind of a kind of a carry on clutch, clutch type of purse. Okay, we have arrived at Bellini's and ordered our drinks. And what are you having? Well, I'm going to try to work my way down this collection this week. So I'm starting with the first one Bellini Classical. Cheers! Oh, Start of another cheers. cruise. Yeah. At least a segment. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Takes a little to get used to this one, I think. Okay, pop quiz for you. What is your muster station? Since you didn't have to do it, they assume you know what it is. <laughs> Let's say it's H because it's close to the Vista Lounge. <laughs> Reserved. Private function. Okay, we're here at the Vista Lounge where they have the Elite and Platinum pre-dinner party. There's always a little bit of snack food. So we've got some appetizers, some nachos, some pretzels, some fruit, vegetables, a whole bunch of different options, sometimes even some seafood. So I'm going to grab a little nibble here and this happens uh, every night. So we're going to grab some tonight before dinner. We're having dinner in the Santorini main dining room. We got a few buns there and a little bit of butter. Buns look good. <laughs> And when you see us in the main dining room, this is oh, where you're going to see us. We have, the, we, are. we have the same table every night here in the Santorini at 6 p.m. Right. Okay. I see Udi's here, our waiter. Hi, <laughs> I have a studio waiter. Oh, Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. From Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. It's sail away dinner time. Browse on the menu to see what's going on here. Some appetizers. I wonder which ones I'll have. Probably have two. Oh, will you? Yeah, and here's what's on the mains tonight. Cajun. I had the braised short ribs last leg. Didn't have any luck with that, so I'm going to try something different. You know what you want? I do know what I want. Okay, don't tell anybody. It's a secret. Okay. First appetizer has arrived. It is the chicken ham croquette. Looks delicious. Nice. And you are having? The seafood ceviche. Anyway, second appetizer has arrived, and I am having the baked, baked potato. potato cheddar soup, something like that, I believe. I didn't film it this afternoon, and you missed it. Probably one of the best things I had today to eat it was a cream-filled cannoli. Ooh, I ate it on the train on the way back, so no filming, because there's lots of people around, and I was just shoving it in real fast, because it was really, really good. And you didn't even share one <laughs> bite of it with me. Yeah, she says you didn't want any, so I just... You didn't I... offer it. <laughs> it was delicious. That was my food from Italy that was fantastic today from Rome. Hey, dinner has arrived, and I brought back from Rome some KFC. <laughs> it's actually Cajun fried chicken is what it was on the menu. With a biscuit, some gravy, and some mashed potatoes buried under there. <laughs> And over here. <laughs> and I am having the salmon tonight. Here, let me turn it around so you can see it better. Ooh. There you go. Ooh, delicious. Okay. Uh, oh, wait for that whole thing in there. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> The rest here for you. Thank you. And the uh, decaf cappuccino on the way. Thank you, Yudi. Thank you. So, let's start as with you. Can you see, I'm having the chocolate hazelnut souffle for dessert. And yours looks really pretty. Mine is very pretty. Yeah. I am having the sugar free lemon cream pie. Yeah. Okay, it's my healthy part of my dinner. The presentation of it's very good. Try your cappuccino of the atrium, did you? Or the piazza? Piazza. This is a piazza. Watch, David. Let me show you the piazza. One of the best piazzas at sea, I would argue. Still decorated for Halloween, though, right Yes, now. hopefully the decorations will come out for Halloween soon.
does your drink resemble the picture? I'm missing a strawberry and a mint leaf, I think. Uh oh. Let's give it a try. You got a lime, though. Nice, I like it. main theater we are and we just finished watching uh, the what do you call them the Irish duel yeah. that are in O'Malley's pub <laughs> really good kind of like being at a great big sea concert in Canada uh, a little bit yeah. a little Alan Doyle so so yeah so we are now gonna watch the show here uh, do you know her name something Hamilton Linda yeah. no Linda Hamilton she's a yeah that's actress. a famous actress it's <laughs> so really? like that so I'm not sure who is it is no I'm sorry I don't have it right now. I read it earlier, but I forgot. Yeah, so we'll, we'll show you after when I'm going out. So yeah. I saw the picture there. Anyways, female singer, we're not sure what kind of music. But. Well, I heard that, I, well, the little bio I read about her is that she's been in almost all the famous Broadway, or I shouldn't say Broadway, West End shows in London. And so she's performed in a lot of musicals. They had a whole list of them, but yeah, a very uh, talented lady from the list of all the famous shows she was in. For sure. So, I think we can record some of this. So, we'll show you what it sounds like. Here you go. Time for the joke. And who voted today? Who joined us today? Yes, now welcome. Now, folks, there is a lot of you that is continuing your journey, so welcome back. But exciting times. You are on the best vessel, the Enchanted Princess, with the best itinerary, the Mediterranean. Yes, now we do have a few days. For you to uh, relax, of course, there without two sea days, and then we hit and it's lots of ports of call. So exciting times there. And yes, the Enchanted Princess is an incredible vessel. When I said I needed you, you said it always stayed. There was a time. Cabin is actually located in a really good spot. Yeah. One floor out from the theater and back to midship. We're gonna leave our cabin go to the midship elevators and go down to the piazza. Plus there's our secret secret spot we're hopefully gonna to find tomorrow and show you. Lindsay Hamilton. That was the show tonight. She did just one show. So we've had a long day, 20,000 steps, and we are going back to get some much needed sleep and rest. See you in the cabin. We're back. We are. Into the cabin to go to bed. Yes. We are done for the evening. We are tired. Yes, we are tired. Rome wore us out. Embarkation wore us out. <laughs> As if that was pretty <laughs> easy, that was. <laughs> oh, so good evening. I would say. Went up to Bellini's, grabbed a drink, experimented a little bit. At least somebody did. Prosecco wasn't really experimenting. <laughs> yeah, he didn't experiment. Staying in my lane. I and wanted to try their cocktails because they have some nice sounding cocktails and I haven't been trying them. So I thought I will give them a try this through this cruise. So I'll try a different one each day and see if I can come up with a favorite. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh, 11 days straight. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
And after Bellini's, we went down to the atrium. Piazza is what I call it. We did Bellini's before dinner, honey, and then we had dinner. Yeah, oh, did we? Yeah. Oh, I got it all backwards. He's, yeah, he's kind of mixed up with his type. But after thought, dinner, we went to the atrium. Yeah, okay. Bellini's was pre-dinner drinks. Yeah, and then we went down to the piazza for David, and then we went for after dinner. After dinner. <laughs> David was after dinner. You, go, you people are going to see the edited version. You're going to see the... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so after we had dinner, we went to the piazza where David, a guitar player that we've been enjoying in the last vlog, um, was playing. And so we listen to him maybe that's the way it went that, I, maybe. I just remembered that's the way it was and then from there we went to the irish pub and caught their act now this is the first day of embarkation on this but we have been on this same ship with those same performers for the last 11 days but we could never get in to see them the venue is small and unless you're lock out or you get there really early you don't get a seat in the venue so I think because it was day one for a lot of people, we were able to snag seats, probably the last two, but we got in there and enjoyed them. That was quite fun. So we're gonna try to get in there more this cruise. Highlight of the night for me was the band in the Irish pub in yeah. O'Malley's. Yeah, it was fun. Just so you know, I got a little bit of footage of that. Yes. Then we went over to the main theater. We did. Don't trust me because I got all the events backwards, but that's I think what we're doing. That is true. And then we saw Lindsay Hamilton. We did. Uh, singer from Broadway, West End, that type of thing. And when she sang the songs from those type of shows, La Miserable. She was phenomenal. Yeah. And, and I guess, like I say, about a lot of the guest singers that we've seen is when they kind of veer out of their lane, it's like, oh, I wish they go back and just do what they're really good at. Because that's I kept thinking. You just wanted her to do musical songs the whole time. Even though I knew yeah. none of them, I knew she was really good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Knuck was very embarrassed because I didn't, I couldn't mouth along the words and she knew everyone. Well, she sang one of Barbara Streisand's most famous songs and he's like, I've never heard that before. I'm like, who are you that you haven't heard Bra Barbara Streisand? Barbara who? Yeah. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> oh, <Wow>. so <laughs> anyways, we are done for the night. And tomorrow and the day after that are sea days. So we're going to show you some things, we have some specialty dining, we're going to have a trip to the spa, a whole bunch of things to watch in the next couple days. We do. But tomorrow, I'm going to try sleeping in. Ooh. <laughs> we've, been, about that. we've been really enjoying the inside cabin for that, guys. <laughs> we've probably had some of the best sleeps we've ever had on a cruise ship with this inside cabin. Sleeping late a lot has been really easy. <laughs> yeah, and to go with the next couple of sea days somewhere and tomorrow or the next day, probably do a little bit of a tour of our inside cabin show you what it's like in here and what we've been thinking of it we've been here for 12 days so i think we're experts on this inside cabin now we figured it out so we'll do that as well so anyways good night everybody good night thanks for watching hope you found the secret letter if not go all the way back to the beginning start watching again <laughs> and if you get this far again to go oh i won't give my hint it's too early in the secret letter this is the first letter of 11 so mm. no hints yet okay good night everybody battery's gonna die and we're gonna die too as we fall asleep real fast <laughs> <laughs> good night, night.